Hey everybody! So, let's talk about straps today. You know, it's one area of guitar playing I feel like that doesn't get talked about a lot. Uh, and a lot of things you gotta take into account when you're uh, strap shopping. I have a lot of straps. Lots of guitar straps. Too many. Uh, actually, no, not enough. So, when we're talking guitar straps, you have all different kinds. You have leather, you have cloth, all sorts of different kinds of guitar straps. You have different thicknesses, uh, different textures. There's so much to take into account and, and you maybe really have a tough time pairing the right strap with the right guitar. I'm here to show you and tell you some things that will hopefully help you in your quest to find the perfect strap. So first of all, when you're strap shopping for a guitar, uh, it's really important to take the weight into account. Are you gonna be standing playing it a lot for hours on end or 45 minutes here, 45 minutes there? Uh, do you have a bad back? Um, how heavy is your guitar? Are you playing bass? Are you playing an actual guitar? Um, are you playing acoustic? Uh, these are just a lot of things you have to take into account. Honestly, it all comes down to personal preference. I'm here to help you with that. So when it comes to uh, overall strap material, you know, do you want it to be like a woven material, or do you want it to be more of a leather type material? Uh, how thick do you want that to be? Is the guitar that you're playing or the bass that you're playing really heavy? Uh, if so, maybe it'd be a good idea to disperse the weight with a wider strap as opposed to a thinner strap. It depends on how long you're gonna be standing too. Are you gonna be standing for several hours playing a gig? You may not want a very tiny thin strap if you're playing, let's say, a Les Paul or uh, you know a P bass. Uh, one important thing to note that when you're looking for guitar straps, usually the ones that you pick off the rack in the store or if you order one, they're not going to feel super comfortable right away. It, it might take a while to break them in. Uh, actually, it takes a while to break in a leather strap, but then it's going to end up being really, really comfortable after a while, especially if you go with a high quality leather strap. This is your typical strap width. This happens to be an old Ace Vintage strap. Uh, super comfortable. Uh, now, one thing I love about this strap is it has this foam padding on the inside and it's very uh, almost like elastic feeling. Uh, it holds a nice weight. It's very soft and uh, it's been played for a long time since it's a vintage strap. I use it specifically on a Telecaster that I play. This Telecaster weighs around nine pounds. It's really, really heavy. Solid ash body, uh, you know, and I use this specifically for this guitar. The reason I use this for this guitar is because of how comfortable this strap is. Another thing to take into account is the overall color of the strap. This is really important when I'm shopping around for straps. Does the strap look cool with the guitar? I mean, let's be honest, that's one of the number one selling points for me, is how things look together. This specifically goes with this color because this also has seafoam green in the pattern of the strap, which I love. But it's got a cool vintage print to it, and uh, it's just really comfortable. It holds the weight necessary for this guitar. So that's why uh, I love this strap for this guitar. I specifically picked it with this guitar in mind. When it comes to a leather strap, let's say a wide leather strap, you can see the difference in sizes. You know, this one is twice the width of this one. And the reason for that is I'm playing a bigger bass with this strap. Um, also, it helps for stability uh, with the way the, the bass sits. And if I'm playing for hours or a while, this is the most comfortable strap I can have. Also, I love how the black goes with black. Black on black, you cannot go wrong. Um, so that's another example of a wide strap and its use case. For my acoustic, I have this uh, wider leather strap. And I remember when I first got this, it was very stiff and very uncomfortable. Uh, it has since softened up so much and it's very, very comfortable and nice to play. It's pretty thin, but it's pretty wide. So it really doesn't bother me. If I'm playing for hours on end, it feels great. Also something that's really important to note is whether or not you prefer the straps with a buckle that slide down and allow you to adjust the overall length that way. Uh, that's a super easy way to do it. There are only two holes for these strap pins. And then you're reliant on setting the length by the buckle. So that's one option. 
And then a lot of times you'll have straps with multiple strap holes. And you'll also have something that looks like this. And this allows you to adjust the overall length of the strap on one end. Uh, it basically slides in and around and loops through and you can lengthen the strap that way or shorten it as well. Um, but having multiple strap holes here also allows you to stay in the ballpark of like, let's say the upper end of this, but have two options, which is nice. Now when it comes to like, let's say cotton or cloth or anything along those lines, um, you know, these are great straps as well. These are specifically from the, a company called Franklin uh, Strap Company, and they are out of Franklin, Tennessee. Uh, you should check them out. They've got some really cool patterns, um, super cool vibe for their straps. Uh, I feel like these go with the style of my guitars. Um, you know, for this, I specifically use on my uh, Black Jaguar. Uh, I love it. These, um, you know, any Sonic Blue or Daphne Blue guitars that I have, these look great. Uh, they've got a cool, you know, boho feel to them. So, super comfortable, great straps. This is specifically from Original Fuzz, and I love their prints. Uh, this is from uh, Nashville. They're a company out of Nashville as well. Already so soft, and it is amazing because it is actually um, picked out by them from the actual people who make the material. So I'm all in favor of that. Super high quality leather ends as well uh, to their straps. Love it, love these things. This also has a good vibe. It goes with pretty much anything. When you're strap shopping, those are just a few things you need to take into account. Um, because looking cool is one thing, right? We all wanna look pretty cool with the guitars or bass that we have. Uh, you want your strap aesthetically to fit. Uh, but you also want it to be comfortable. Uh, after, you know, three or four hours of rehearsals, shows, whatever a night, you know, it can really take a toll and do a number on your back, um, you know. So it's always smart to uh, invest in a really comfortable strap. Uh, I'm gonna put links at the bottom um, to the few companies that I mentioned that I really like, just personally. This isn't a paid advertisement for them. Uh, they've been awesome in the past. Uh, and helped me, uh, you know, with straps to fit with my guitars. So um, I highly recommend those. But honestly, if you're going into a guitar store, uh, I recommend just taking those few things into account. Uh, your guitar weight, your guitar size, uh, how long you're going to be playing it for, um, you know, how wide of a strap do you prefer. Uh, the wider it sits, uh, the more weight is dispersed across your shoulder. The thinner the strap, it's just gonna dig in. Take that, uh, you know, for what it is, and I hope this has been helpful. Bye!